Buenos días, flippies. Eh, bueno, ya como os he ido contando, he ido subiendo eh, las, los tres episodios anteriores de este gran juego y sorprendente, The Wall Among Us. Así que nada, vamos a seguir con el 100%, vamos a ir a por el platino, que bueno, que no es muy difícil, ya que el 90% de las cosas eh, nos salen automáticamente conforme vayamos jugando, pero hay que hacer un par de detallitos, ¿vale? Atento en este también, siempre os digo lo mismo, interaccionar con todas y cada una de las cosas, y bueno, vamos a, a darle matraca, como digo yo. A ver cómo se presenta este episodio y espero que, bueno, a lo largo de este fin de semana o más bien en un par de días dejar todo listo, ¿vale? Libro de fábulas. Todo listo, ¿vale? Uno, dos, tres. Vamos a por el cuarto ya. Cuarto y quinto. En tres horitas tenemos un platino. Jugamos. Y bueno, a mí me sale aquí directamente el episodio 3 Porque, como ya os expliqué en el juego, eh, en el episodio anterior Tenéis que repetir algunas zonas para eh, conseguir dicho trofeo, ¿vale? El trofeo de tener todas las fábulas descubiertas <coughs> Y quedan dos, el 4 y el 5 Así que vamos a darle candela al 4 Disfraz de cordero If you can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? <coughs> I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. Crane must have taken a shard with him. The open arms. Enjoy your stay. Thanks, Bigby. And thanks for covering for me last time, too. Bigby? How could you do this to me? I guess I finally see you for who you are! Tell me who did it! Just tell me who did it! I know you know! I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? Bueno, siempre os digo que esto es un recordatorio, digamos, de, del episodio anterior. ¿Vale? Eh, bueno, siempre os digo también que... Mire, los vídeos anteriores... Pues, veis que ha ocurrido y quiénes son cada uno de los diferentes personajes, ya que eh, no me gusta hablar durante, eh, no la emisión, sino durante los nuevos hechos, es decir, ahora estoy hablando porque esto ya nos apareció en el capítulo anterior y quien quiera verlo pues puede acceder al episodio anterior en el tercer vídeo que se está terminando de subir. Y ahora sí. Me callo y empezamos a darle al cuarto episodio. Bullets are a nasty business. The silver slug deformed and shredded on impact. He'll be okay, though. Hmm? He'll be okay? His internal organs are positively riddled. If I don't extract every single scrap of silver, he's liable to suffer some long-term toxicosis. Easy there. Try not to move. We can't keep needing this way, old boy. I figured I'd be done before you were conscious, but there's little I can do for the pain. Swinehart, how bad is it? Well, not the worst I've seen, but damn near it. I must say, you're testing even my skills here. Please, Big B, don't move it. Doctor. Look, I'm a bit engaged saving his life at the moment, but if the fractured extremity concerns him that much, He can set it himself. 
Oh, qué heavy, tío. Pues nada, habrá que ponérsela bien. Un tironcito de la mano para, para arriba y se pone el hueso solo en su sitio. Es así. ¿Veis? suppose he's lucky to be alive and he won't be next time if he keeps going like this he didn't listen to me before maybe he'll listen to you I don't know about that well he should this <sighs> is the job quiet just relax <sighs> excuse me miss white but Perhaps it'd be better if you gave me a few minutes to finish with him. I, I think I should stay, at least until he's out of the woods. Believe me, Bigby couldn't be in better hands, and I need the space to work, so... Don't worry, Snow. I'll be okay. We'll be done in a moment. Just please, give us the time. Hey, Doc, how much longer? Colin. Leave him be. It's finished when it's finished. Because I once watched a vet sew a turtle together in ten minutes flat. Colin, you're not even supposed to be here right now. Oh, really? Where am I supposed to be? Could I get some quiet in here? Yes, that would be helpful. Sorry. <sighs> there. All done. Great. This isn't a habit you should keep to. Ah, pues hay algo que ahora él no se va a fumar. This time was no joke. As many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round. No va a durar dos minutos de vídeo que empieza a fumar. Miss White, you'll be fine for light duty if he can figure out what that means. He knows what it means. It's just been an unusual couple of days. I know. But please, don't give him the excuse. His body will eventually give out. Take care of him. Please. I will. He'll need rest, I assume? Sleep mostly. Just keep watch. I don't need a babysitter. I can look after myself. Clearly. Anyways, guard against, as they say. Miss White? Sheriff? Colin? Swiney? Un puerquito <coughs> En el juego la leche, tío Realmente el juego es mm, Es increíble So How do you, um, feel? It's Big B, Snow He'll be okay How do you think I feel? Like shit You should see how you look You had us... <clears throat> you had us worried there for a while. You, uh... You stopped breathing, you know. When you passed out or... Or died, I guess. It... Um... It kind of scared the hell out of me. I've never seen you like that. And when Swineheart arrived... You were really worried about me? Yeah, you were really fucked up, man. You look like when you take an action figure and bend its limbs the wrong way. Colin... I'm just saying I was worried about him is all. The guy hasn't had a night's rest in days. Well, I'll get some rest when this whole thing is done. What whole thing? What's even happening out there? I mean, do you guys have like a plan or something? And who should I be asking? Should I be worried about the crooked man taking over? Crane is still our focus. I just can't forget everything he's done. I don't care if he has problems with the crooked man. Ichapod's gone. It's over for him. He's not coming back. It 
It's not about Crane anymore, Bigby. The Crooked Man came out of the shadows for a reason. For him to attack us so blatantly like that. Bueno, nuevo libro de fábula desbloqueado. Desperate. Well, if those are my two options, I don't think I'd pick desperate. What do you mean? You traded Crane to save Bigby. I'm just saying, that's not exactly something you do when you're playing with house money. So he called my bluff. It's not like I'm gonna let Bloody Mary just murder. Yeah. Uh, thanks, Snow, for all that back there. No problem. Thanks. You're not pissed that Crane's flown the coop? Or that the crooked man thinks he's got snow under his thumb? We're all mad about it, Colin. Give me a cochinillo, so just drop it. Okay, okay. All I care about right now is just what does the crooked man want out of this? I thought he was just a loan shark, but clearly he's operating in other circles. It can't just be about Crane, right? Getting him out of town? Is this all about the murders? Crane can't be useful to him anymore. So what could this have to do with Faith and Lily? You know, I couldn't really give a shit what they want out of this. They just made the wrong fucking enemy. <sighs> Remember what Swineheart said, okay? The Crooked Man declared war against us last night. At least that's what I thought when it happened. But now I see this war has been going on for years. We just haven't noticed it because our way of doing things is broken. We need to do things the right way. What does that mean, the right way? What do you think I mean? I don't know, but it suspiciously sounds like your way. Bigby's the one on the front lines. Yeah, wait, what do you mean? What is this right way? We haven't been doing a good job. You and I. So, starting now, we do everything cut and dried, by the book, straight as an arrow. Pure as driven snow. I'm not saying I'm the arbiter of- Sure you're not. This town has enough monsters. What happened last night, what you turned into, it can't happen again. We need monsters to fight monsters. I'll do better. We'll do better. We have to be better than them, or what's the point? Right, exactly. Thank you. Look, I'm sorry that I have to bring all this up, but I think it's important. Look, Bigby, I care about how this is done just as much as I care about it getting done. So for that, you want to give them a handicap? Like the bad guys will worry if shit gets sloppy. Everybody wants Bigby to smile and shave and take a shower now and then. Relax, Colin. I can speak for myself, okay? He'll get the job done. Just let him do it. I'm going to... I'm going to let you do it, okay? It's just that... Now that I'm Deputy Mayor, I need your respect. And this situation has to end. What situation? All unglamored fables starting today have to go and stay at the farm. Oh, give me a fucking break. Are you gonna let her talk to me like that? It's been the rule for a reason, Colin. If Snow says that's the way it's gotta be, that's the way it's gotta be. What? Are you kidding me? If you would simply get a glamour. Get a glamour? With what money? You think I can work? I don't even have thumbs. Hmm. <laughs> La verdad que está dando un vuelco bastante interesante en el juego. Residence. That's rude. Oh, Buffkin, what is it? <clears throat> okay, I'll let him know. Thanks. Guess who's waiting in your office right now? Nerissa. Nerissa? That broad from the yeah. pudding and pie? Yes. Apparently, she told Buffkin that she has something she needs to talk to you about. But that she'll only tell you. What do you think that could be? Uh, Bigby's got an admirer. You always do well with the, uh, disenfranchised. I haven't the slightest. Okay. I should get back to the business office. I've left Buffkin alone for too long taking calls. And I should probably change out of these clothes. Consider the discussion Siempre table, but not over. Claro, 
Let me know when you're done with Nerissa. Aye, aye, Captain. She's a piece of work. Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? I mean, she seemed real serious about it. I don't know. Snow come around, she's just... You know, the crane thing hit her hard, and she doesn't really know who her friends are right now. Oh, okay. Los subtítulos vuelven a hacer de la suya. O si sea, habéis visto, Le de Cran es lo de Crane. Y bueno, ya, ya en lo que va de este episodio he visto un par de fallillos en, en lo que viene a ser la subtitulación y en lo que supuestamente yo quería que era inglés, como el you and me, no el you and I. No sé, tampoco soy un experto en inglés, pero bueno, algo tan básico como eso creo que, que debería estar bien. Y eh, eso, mmm, varias cosas de la subtitulación abajo escrita que no están muy muy de aquella manera. Bueno, eh, como el eso, como el es claro, o en este caso yo llevo diciendo toda la vida, está claro que, no es claro que. Y aquí lo que ha ocurrido por último, le de Crane, no es le de Crane, es lo de Crane. Es un leísmo de toda la vida, bueno, que la subtitula tiene que ser de por allá arriba, no, no he utilizado, digamos, una traducción al castellano como Dios manda, no he utilizado leísmos y demás. Bueno, pues nada, vamos a ver qué tal sucede la cuestión. Por ahora no hemos tenido que hacer nada, es decir, no nos hemos dejado nada atrás, no hemos tenido que interaccionar, ha sido todo eh, guiado y simplemente hablar. Así que episodio 4, disfraz de cordero. Hi, y... Sheriff. Vamos al lío. Hi, Nerissa. Have a seat. I, um, are you okay? You didn't look good last night. I wasn't sure you'd be. I'm fine. Don't worry about me. <coughs> ¿Eh? Bueno, dos minutos ha tardado. Sí, cinco. Huff and puffs. Not many people smoke those. Can start talking. There's not a lot that I can talk about. You know that. So that spell Crane was trying to break. It's not just while you're at work, huh? <laughs> What I mean is, I don't want to waste your time, but I don't want you wasting your own time either. Back in the dressing room, at the pudding and pie, I told you what I was looking for. You found a way to tell me. You sent me to the open arms. Maybe that'll work again. You can try. I just... Go ahead. It... might work. You're here because the crooked man just sent Crane to the bottom of my list of worries. And you have something you want to say about that, right? These lips are sealed. If I could answer you just like that, I wouldn't have had to make that appointment with you. No, I guess not. Sometimes, we have to find our way through life on our own, grasping and fumbling in the dark. I... I used to have friends to help me find my way, but now they're gone. And I don't know what to do. Are you saying you need a friend right now? You can trust me. What I'm saying is friends matter. And I... I don't have any left. So I hope you're looking after yours. Are you? Look around you. It's my job to look out for people. Not just my friends. I'm 
sorry. I thought I could do this. I need you to know I want to help, but... But... But your lips are sealed. I'm sorry if I'm wasting your time. I thought I knew how to say it. Ribbons. Faith wore one too. Do you like it? Hmm? Do you? How can I? It's a tool to keep you stuck in that life. Subservient. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? Se la va a quitar. ¿Ves? A quitar la cinta. No, los lips What? You can't. Just stay back. You can't do that. Slow down. It's all right. I'm not gonna do anything. Joder, qué heavy, ¿no? Que con una cinta del cuello. Don't. La tengan de esta manera, ¿no? <sighs> okay. I get it. So the ribbons, if you take them off. Probably snow. Listen, Sheriff. Can you keep this conversation between us? I could be in a lot of trouble. What are you worried about? Just please don't say anything. Sorry, I just need to talk to the sheriff for a moment. Please excuse us. One minute. I might have a new lead for you, but I don't know how solid it is. Beauty and Beast called the office just now. They said they wanted to talk to you about something. I wonder if they've heard about Crane. Thank you for listening, Sheriff. You should go on to your next business. I don't think you'll be wasting your time. Uh, wait, you don't have to go. That was... Uh, abrupt. That's one way to send a message. What did she tell you? I didn't mean to rush her out. Did you get anything from her? She couldn't really say anything. The magic that Crane was talking about, it's in the ribbon. And you can't take the ribbon off, or... It's how Faith and Lily died. Okay then. Good work. So, about Beauty and Beast, do you think there's something to it? Is this the right place to look? What could they know about the Crooked Man? Or do you think they just heard about last night, and they're scared about what's been going on? That's what Nerissa was doing, telling us to go there. I think she made it as clear as she could have. Hmm. You know, Beauty came to me a while back. She was looking for financial assistance. I told her there was nothing I could do, and and she said that meant she'd have to go somewhere else. Bigby, you don't think she meant that she was going to go to the Crooked Man, do you? That would explain why they called. We need to solve this before something else happens. Who knows what? I have other matters to attend to. Eh, bueno. Un trofeito más. Había una vez. Y proseguimos. Eh, como digo siempre, ¿vale? Interaccionamos con todas las cosas que nos sean posibles, ¿vale? 
para no dejaros ningún libro de fábula suelto. Vamos a intentar llamar. Oh. What do you want? Well, you're just going around knocking on doors, stirring the pot. I'm sorry. Were you expecting someone else? No, that was. Forget it. What do you want, Bigby? Listen, I've had a shitty night. Do you think you're the only one? And I really don't want to deal with the runaround. Snow said you called and wanted to talk to me. Well, I didn't call. Must have been Beauty. She's been surprising me a lot lately. Can I? So bueno, have me you been que me tener que pelear. Yet, with all the sneaking around and secrets, somehow I'm still the bad guy in this. I've had to hear about it all night long from her. Who is it? Who's there? Beast? Look, I'm coming in. So, uh, let's not get into busting down doors today, all right? Qué bueno. It's your pal, Big B. Hi, Big B. Please excuse us for just a minute. Can I talk to you in private? Yes, let's. Bueno, mientras tanto voy a alcahuetear un poquillo, a ver qué tal, qué tal por aquí. El curso se ha perdido. Yes, I really do have the smallest apartment in the woodlands. Pero bueno, ahora vuelve el cursor a, a su vida. Vamos a, como digo siempre, a interaccionar con todo, ¿vale? Interaccionamos con la urna. Eh, la rompes. Interaccionamos con el cuadro. Qué bueno eso. Mucha gente. Bueno, voy a intentar desplazarme A ver si vemos algo No sé si ahí Hay muchos detalles, la verdad que el juego conserva muy bien Todos Todos y cada uno de los detalles La verdad es que, que sí Que está muy Muy conseguido en cuanto a detalles De las fábulas y demás Sí, lo que dicen Centuries de marriage come with centuries de baggage I gotta say, your place, it looks, uh, expensive. What do you mean by that? Beast! No, really, I want to know. What are you trying to say, huh? You've lived here a long time, and you've never called me over. So what's this about? Snow told me you went to her for some financial help. Did you end up going to the crooked man? I didn't know what else to do, so... We should deal with this on our own. Bigby's just going to... I called him here, and I want to see if he can help us out. Why are you being like this? I'm just trying to do what's best for us. That's all I ever do. Look, I'm not here to referee. You called me, okay? So cut the bullshit and quit wasting my time. I gotta know one thing first. What if we did have something to say about the Crooked Man? What if we talk, and you don't get him? And all this comes back on us? We'd be risking a lot. We've seen what happens when you cross the Crooked Man. And I don't know if it's worth it. If you can't give us certain assurances. I can protect you, but only if you tell me what I need to know. And that means details. No more stonewalling. We aren't. And just tell me what's going on here. Look, we're used to a certain kind of lifestyle, okay? We couldn't just give that we up. We never meant for it to get like this. It's just that we had nowhere else to turn, and we got in over our heads. There's not a lot of work out there. Who would we be if we just lived like... Uh, let me just uh, mm, uh, 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 skiing the slopes. Hey, we're not <laughs> done. We here. can't come to I the should... phone right now, so leave a message at the beep and we'll get back to you as soon as <laughs> humanly possible. Beep! That fucking message. I'm gonna come down. 
down there and bash your heads in with that machine if I have to call again and hear that fucking message one more time. I've been doing this long enough to know that if you had the cash, you'd have paid by now. So consider yourselves out of warnings. It's time to start thinking about how else you can settle this. Who is that? The crooked man's gonna get his, one way or another. All I care about is, how can I find the Crooked Man? Who do I talk to? Where do I go? The Lucky Pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. The Crooked Man's behind that place. I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before. So, when I needed money, that's where I went. Who gets loans at a pawn shop anyway? What's really going on at this place? The crooked man knows what people need to get by, so he provides. Besides, it didn't seem like such a bad deal when Jersey Devil was explaining it. I can see now that it was a mistake, but I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. I saw the woodsman's axe there just the other day. It was in a display case. I guess he's hit hard times too. There's a lot of that going around. I can't imagine he has a lot of marketable skills. Fucking Bloody Mary must go through there. She had Woody's axe last night, trying to chop my damn head off with it. Maybe if you go there, you can sort some things out. I guess I'll go check out the Lucky Pawn. If I can't track down the Crooked Man there, maybe I can make enough noise that the Crooked Man will come find me. Hold on, Biggie. Don't go there. Sounds like you're just going to get Beauty in trouble. And... You know that butcher shop, the cut above? It's the place on Tubman Street. Same block as the baker and the candlestick maker. Well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The thing is, it's for the crooked man. And I don't think it's meat in the packages. You, you gotta understand, I needed work. You have to believe us. Listen to me very carefully. Did you ever deliver to the Crooked Man? Can you give me an address? No. I delivered to places all over town, but never to the man himself. It never seems to be heading to the same place, but it always comes out of the butcher shop. How did you get involved with this? Johan the Butcher called. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit one night. But when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. She said I was reliable. She liked that. And it's the only thing I've been able to pick up. And it's still not enough. It's Mary you deal with? Bloody Mary is there? No, Johan is the one who hands over the packages, you know, day to day. But I've seen her around there. She uh, gets under my skin, you know? I, I try to avoid her. But I don't need to tell you what she's You're like. damn right you don't. I don't need a rundown on her reputation. If Mary works out of there, I need to look into it. I just wanted to provide for beauty. Give her the kind of life she deserves. We shouldn't have to live like this. Scraping to get by. None of us should. We were royalty once. We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. All we want is to make this place feel a little bit like home. You wouldn't understand, Big B. I don't need to understand. It's not my fucking job to understand. My job is to keep Fable Town safe. So, where are you going? If this all goes sideways, I'd like to know where it's coming from. Bueno, eh, esto es muy importante, ¿vale? Para el trofeo, vamos al peón suertudo, ¿vale? The lucky pawn. That's... Vamos aquí. I'm going to the lucky pawn. There's too much going on there to ignore. Peón suertudo, ¿vale? I'll have a word eh, y... With y bueno, you know, Big B, no once you show your face, vamos al peón suertudo. There may be nothing left to see if you go to the butcher shop after. Well, I guess I'll find out.
Wait. I don't know what you're planning to do when you find the Crooked Man, but is there any way you could help us out? What do you mean? Well, maybe you can make this all just go away. We would really appreciate it. What do you say? Can you help us out? I'll handle it. I'm not gonna let that crooked bastard ruin any more lives. Oh, thank you, Bigby. I'm sure you'll do the right thing. Bueno, un lobo feroz, otro trofeo y seguimos avanzando. It's dirty. No, it's not. It looks like you slept in it. In a pile of garbage. Jack, why are you... I've seen you take a torn purse for a tenner. Yeah, but I also got her phone number. I don't want your phone number. Ugh, really? What? Bigby's here. Oh. This is a surprise. Why are you never glamour toad? Why is it so hard to just follow the rules? Look, I know some fables can switch from man to beast and back again like changing shirts. But it's not so easy for the rest of us to look human, all right? And anyways, I'm getting the money right now. I'm not taking the coat. But it's magic. So? And it'll be covering a check I already wrote. Okay, well, that sounds like a your problem problem to me. Yeah, it is. And so I came here to sell it off. Hey, wait a minute. That's Faith's coat. It was Faith's coat. Look, you left it in my place. What do you expect me to do? Yes, I think the off-sighted statute of Finder's Keepers clearly states that it's his now, Bigby. So what's it gonna be? I don't know what to tell you. See if Cindy needs a coat. I don't know. <sighs> this is to pay for those bloody glamours, you know. You and your blinking rules. If a witches didn't charge so fucking much, I wouldn't have to be in here dealing with this nonsense. The witches set their own prices, Toad, and the prices aren't set because of greed. Making a glamour is hard. The materials are rare. Spare me the lesson of new do economics. I don't want to hear it. I don't know what you're getting so steamed about. Shouldn't be that big of a shock that I'm not going to take an ass hair coat. No, I guess it shouldn't be, since this whole bleeding operation's just a setup for one of his shady fucking loans. Ixnay on the own lays, okay, Ogfrey? I mean, what kind of a game are you running here? Toad? You turn down people's stuff so you can peddle his shit? Funny you should mention that, because it's exactly why I'm here. You want a loan? I didn't really think you the type. Well, first, tell me, how does it work? You know, um, I'm sorry, Bigby, but I really shouldn't be talking about this with you. You know this is a fucking crooked man place, right? Toad? He uses fancy boys like Jack here to squelch the honest business. Eh, ¿Habéis visto, ¿habéis visto de nuevo el subtítulo? Es decir, siempre que le llaman Big B, eh, le ponen Lupo en el subtítulo, ¿vale? Porque supuestamente el Lupo Ferro es su nombre. Y ahora, ahora en este episodio, eh, le ha llamado este tío Big B y no han escrito Lupo subtitulado. Han puesto directamente Big B. La verdad. Mm, bueno, ahora me da igual hablar. Eh, no sé qué ha pasado con este cuarto episodio, pero mm, la sustitución está siendo una basura. Una basura. No paciencia para la Between what? Between the business office and fables like a crooked man, who you purportedly seek to protect us from. Either way, I'm getting screwed. Drop by any time. Believe me, Toad. You can always go to the farm. He really grows on you. Look, I work here sometimes for the extra cash. It's something stable. You know, between more entrepreneurial bouts. And before you ask, I've never seen the crooked man in here. 
neither hide nor hair and all that. In fact, as far as I can tell, he's never even actually stepped foot in here. But Bloody Mary works for him. And last time I saw her, she had the woodsman's axe. So? So the last time anybody else saw that axe, it was here. We'd never take something like that. Is this really why you came down here? The woodsman's axe? I'll be asking the questions here, Jack. Okay, fine. Fire away. Because I'm not a mind reader. And unless it's bar trivia, I don't think I can help much anyway. Tell me about these loans. How do they work? Who collects? Look, people get desperate, and when you're drowning, anything that isn't sinking along with you looks like a life raft. The crooked man gives, and he wants things in return. And when you don't pay up, bad stuff happens. Why do you think I've never taken one? A little credit card fraud never hurt anybody. I should know. What kind of things does he want in return? Could be anything, from the loan plus interest, family heirlooms, to novelties of a more exotic nature. Like? Magic, memories, parts of you. It's bad. Listen, I gotta start closing up shop, so, uh... Close? It's the middle of the day. What can I say? Jersey likes to run at odd hours. <coughs> really, he'd be the one to talk to, so... Can't you just swing by later? It really wouldn't be good for me if he sees your face when Vamos he wants to. Un vistazo, so, uh, ¿vale? Esto es I'd principal. really rather you not Voy a echar un vistazo. if he comes back. You know? I want to check stuff out here first. If this is a crooked man place, maybe something here will help me find him. Can't you Shut just... up, Jack. If the Jersey Devil isn't here to answer my questions, it also means he isn't here to get in my way. So I'm gonna take a look around, as long as I've got the elbow room. All right. Don't let me get in your way. I won't. Bueno. Eh, vamos a interaccionar con todo, ¿vale? Para, eh, para que nos salten las... Reminds me. De las cosas de las fábulas, ¿vale? Eh, anything, los desbloqueos de los libros de fábula. Oh, okay, then. Ahí está, ¿vale? Hay que interaccionar con las agujas para desbloquear un nuevo, un nuevo libro de fábulas. Y seguimos interaccionando con todo, ¿vale? Hey, look with your eyes, not your hands, okay? interaccionando con todo <coughs> I thought you said you'd never take something like this uh, uh what I I, do, I don't uh Jack uh yeah when was Mary here was who here bloody Mary because the axe was here but it's gone and she had it so she was here I don't know anything about that. I don't, really. I mean, I don't work every day, so... Uh, and even when I do work, I just try to keep my head down. Just tell me the truth. What happened to the ex? It was Mary. She took it, okay? That's all I know. That's all you know? You don't know she almost fucking killed me with it last night? No. No. I had no goddamn idea. Why'd she take it? Just to fuck with me? You think I'm crazy enough to ask her that? I'm not sticking my foot in that lawnmower, thank you. Well, for your sake, you better think of something to tell me. That's all I can tell you. I'm being straight here. I'm just part-time. I mean, it's Jersey who's the one who's into this stuff. He's one of the crooked man's boys, okay? And it'd be great if he was here to tell you all this, but he's not. So just... Jersey, don't... don't give me that shit. What the fuck is the point of having a system if you're just gonna... That's my fucking system. But you... You're the guy who makes sure that... I'm the guy that keeps shit in order, and that's it, Woody. Who closed the fucking gate? Jack? If you love your ex so fucking much, why'd you pawn it in the first fucking place, huh? I didn't pawn it, asshole. It was stolen from my apartment. And Grinch said that he saw it here. Este es el que Tell me where it is right fucking now. 
I think while tempers are running high. <laughs> you know, like a Christ. And this fucking guy too? Big B? What this is Zax even here? Nope. It isn't. Just like I said, it's not here. Happy? I got shit to do, so whatever you're here for, make it snappy. Le voy a pegar. Uh, este he no wanted to know where. Actually, you know what? I don't care what he wanted. You're dealing with me now, okay? Until I give you permission, you're not gonna do anything but answer my questions. Uh, how's your arm? Bloody Mary leaves a bit of a stink, don't she? Jack, did you know that as of this very morning, Bigby's joined the crooked man's obedience school for wayward fucking creatures? He's already passed his first class. You see, the sheriff had who he stupidly thought was the murderer. Been chasing him for fucking days, right? But the crooked man snapped his bony fingers, and Bigby handed him over, just like that. I'm, uh, just gonna, uh, let you two, you know. I wouldn't exactly put it like that. Are you kidding me? It was here. It was right fucking here. What did you do with it? How the fuck do I know? Listen, you bald little dipshit. You're gonna... <clears throat> you piece of shit. <clears throat> cool it, Woody. We don't need the business office involved in this shit. I just want what's mine. My axe. Anyone, and I mean anyone who gets in the way of that, has something else coming to him. Just stay out of my way, all right? Where's my axe? Who'd you give it to? No, 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 the other half. My fight, David. Go sniff around somewhere else. Woody? What? que hay detrás la que había en el despacho de Crane la que yo dije de Sleepy Hollow So, wanna try again? You can't find a crooked man No one can there's no address, no place. He lives in the bends and forks of tree roots, behind the sun, in the <coughs> shadows. That's not good enough. Oh, the door to his house. It bounces around, never in one spot. You'll never find it. 
Even Crane had to use the magic mirror. That fucking guy. <laughs> oh, mirror, mirror. Okay, that's Crane's way. How do you contact him? Oh, I don't. He uses couriers for everything. Ravens, oh, goblins, the fucking Tweedles. Whatever. I go in when I'm taken there. You don't know anything about anything, do you? What do you have? Nothing. Had ah, useless bitch Snow White in a broken fucking mirror. Oh! The next thing you say better be something useful. It doesn't matter what you fucking do. You're not gonna get him. You wanna knock on his fucking door and see what que, happens? Que... Fine. Que Bosco le quitara la cabeza del medio ¿eh? Entonces, eso Sería la leche tío. Después de haber soltado toda la información Ahí está Era obvio que no lo hace Qué pena He ain't going anywhere. You better not be fucking with me, or I'll come back here and finish the job. <sighs> you got what you want. Now get the fuck out of here. Hey, Sheriff. Those girls are still dead. Oh, and this. Nothing you can do to bring them back. And I don't know what they did, but I do know this. Oh, if they're dead, it's because the crooked man wanted them dead. That's all it takes. So you can raw smash the place up. <laughs> Shit. You can wail on me all you want, but what good is it gonna do you? Because he ain't in your town. You're in his, and he sure as shit is ready for you. Out of smoke? Venga, dale un hombre. Having trouble deciding which one of you to hit with this thing. Jersey was wrong, you know. About what? About those girls. There is something you can do about it. You can get the fucker who did it. Ain't that the plan? It's my job. I'll get him. All right, we'll go do it then. Hombre, a ver, la verdad que, que me gustaría que Bosco formara parte eh, importante. Hey Woody. Yeah. What are you gonna do now? We all got our roles to play, Wolf. Lo he dicho, me encantaría que, que Bosco formara parte, digamos, de esta mmm, alianza, ¿sabes? Es decir, Bella y Bestia parece que están un poco cagados Y bueno, parece que Bosco es el típico otro trofeito eh, Parece que Bosco es el típico tío que no tiene nada que perder Y como hay una frase que me gusta mucho, dice... Eh, no hay No hay nada peor No hay nada peor eh, Que un hombre que no tiene nada que perder Y así es, me gustaría que Bosco, bueno, formara parte de De nuestra alianza Y la liáramos gorda Es decir, matáramos al hombre torcido Y, 
Y ya está, tío, ya está A partirle los dientes Que se lo llevara en bolsitas Bueno, seguimos interaccionando con todo, ¿vale? Esta es la famosa carnicería Y... Bueno, vamos a interaccionar con todo, ¿vale? Muy apetizante Frozen solid ¿Quién quiere comer esto? Vale, miramos todo, todo, todo Y una vez que hemos mirado todo No, no voy a tocar el timbre Voy a... Eh, si os fijáis a la cuadra Si os fijáis a la cuadra eh, Ya que en, en, el, en el episodio anterior Veíamos eh, en los diferentes pisos O en los diferentes lugares en los que estuvimos Viendo y observando Vimos eh, una caja igual que esta de carnicero entonces bueno vamos no vamos a llamar vamos a abrir la puerta Big B Wolf What happened to you? I'm looking for a piece of the magic mirror. Um wh what? The magic mirror's missing shard. Where is it? Bloody Mary brought it here, didn't she? What? B Bloody Mary? Magic mirror shard? <laughs> What kind of place do you think this is? Don't bullshit me. I'm not. What you're looking for, I I think you'd be better off looking at uh, the Lucky Pond. Yeah, or someplace like that. You know where it is, right? You need to listen to me. I know Bloody Mary hangs around here. Need to start fucking cooperating right now. I am. Because you know Jersey, you, you know Jersey, right? Yeah, he he runs the pawn shop. Yeah, that's right. He wasn't very cooperative when I went there, and that turned out to be a big fucking problem for him. I'm cooperating. I swear. Anyway, if if I'd have known you already looked at the lucky pawn, I I. I wouldn't have pointed you there. I, I just figured anything worth a damn in Fable Town goes through Jersey's hands at some point. You know that. Believe me, I don't want to waste your time, Sheriff. And I certainly don't mean to offend. Where's the magic mirror shard? Quit fucking around and tell me. I'm, I'm not. I am not fucking around. If you're lying to me, I'm gonna find out. Listen, Crane had the mirror. Mary had Crane. She comes around here, right? If you're covering for her, I'm gonna have a problem with you. So you better think real hard about what you say next. I... Sheriff, I... Did you hear that? What? Oh, I'm real sorry. Hold on. I, I just gotta go check on that. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Butcher? I just have to go see. Vamos a entrar ya, rápido. Para adentro. Shit. Bueno, eh. I got it covered back here, Sheriff. I'll be right out. Buen ambiente, eh, buen colorido. Y me gusta, me gusta. Ya os digo, el juego la verdad que me encanta. El problema del juego. Mm. Eh, no me ha gustado nada la sustitución y de, de este cuarto episodio, la verdad que deja mucho que desear. Bueno, mucho. Bastante. A ver qué nos encontramos. I've already told you, damn it. Just give me the magic mirror shard and I'll leave you alone. And you can go back to whatever it is you're doing here. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. They're gonna kill me. Oh god, she is gonna fucking kill me. Huh? 
He's gonna get me killed. What are you hiding behind that door? Huh? Please, please, Bigby. Please don't. Bigby? What happened to Sheriff? Please don't kill me, Sheriff. I don't want to die. Please. Please don't kill me. Yo, um, please don't kill me. Shut the fuck up. You, you, you're a monster, a fucking monster. Why are you doing this? I'm not part of their crew. Fuck. The crooked man's people. Jersey Devil, D and Dumb, and that mental case, Bloody Mary. You, you want to talk about the real butcher? <laughs> it's her, not me. This is her place. I'm telling you, they muscled in on me, took over my storage and delivery a long time ago. All cause of that heat wave. That summer was even hotter than this one. Oh, I let Mary and those porkers stay cool in the meat locker one day, playing cards, having a great time. I guess they were sizing the place up. Shows what I get for being nice. I'm just a victim in this. I don't know what they do back there. I swear. A and I don't want to know. You lied to me in the front. Why the fuck should I believe you now? Because it's the truth. I knew this would happen. Didn't know when. No, vamos del tirón a abrirla. No quiero escuchar. Ellos son los que hacen los encantos. Sí, 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 claro, por eso las las cajitas de la carnicería. Interesante. Y cuando toquen el botón, run. A la derecha arriba, ¿lo habéis visto? A la izquierda abajo. What is this place? I told you, Big P. I don't know. They muscled me out. I swear, I don't know anything more. I haven't been back here when it was like this. Warning. It's business. It's all I've ever had. I guess that's why I stuck around when they took it. Damn it. You can't act like you're forced into this and then turn around and help them. You'd still be here if you hadn't flipped that switch out there. I had to. Huh. You come in here making trouble for me. But you only give a shit now because the crooked man stepped on your toes or something. Where were you when they took this place from me? It hasn't been easy for me. You, you think I want to live with this at my back? All right, Johan, do me a favor. Just shut the fuck up and stay out of the way. Can you manage that? So this is what Beast was delivering. Glamours, other kinds of magic. Could be dangerous stuff. Maybe just don't touch anything back here. Please? Didn't I tell you to sit down and shut up? Bueno, eh, vamos a ver cositas. <coughs> that symbol. It's on all the packages. What is it? That's the crooked man's uh, brand. It's on everything that goes in and out of here. So you do know something, huh? Is that a, a wheel or what? Guess they never used that thing on wolves, huh? What's that supposed to mean? It's from back in the homelands. A torture device. It came over here with the rest of our stories. Not that Mondays need any help coming up with that kind of thing. It makes people crooked. Like breaking their bones and... Do I really need to explain this? Bueno. Eh, seguimos. What are they making here? I'm just a butcher. You want to talk T-bones? <laughs> that I can do. This stuff is out of my league. There are a lot of nasty spells you can make with the right equipment. Vamos a ver eh, las cadenas de la tortura. ¿Esto qué es? Ah, bueno, vamos a ver el destriador también. Bueno, seguimos. 
tenemos las cadenas. James. Who's getting chained up here? You can't think I'm the only one the crooked man has under his yoke. Is this what those loans get you? That crooked piece of shit. Ribbons, chains, it's it's all the fucking same. These are raw materials for making magic. Anti-Greenleaf and any other rogue witches out there probably get their supplies here. What the hell is that? Bueno, eh... Miremos el abrigo. Parece el de... El de... No, this isn't your bar. coat. What's it doing here? It's a coat. What's the big deal about some dirty... Looks like cranes. I've seen some abuse. I'm sure he handled it just fine. Vamos a buscar los bolsillos. No time for traveler's checks, huh? He won't be needing this anymore. Blanca Nieves y Shard. It's the Shard. Fragmento. Finally. Bueno, me parece a mí que no va a ser tan fácil. Hold on. I told you what I knew, and look what you did to me. You're just as fucked up as they are. You really still are the big bad wolf. Is this what you do? You just go around ruining Fable's lives, tormenting people. Sometimes there's only one way to do this job: creative destruction. TV. <laughs> what the hell am I supposed to do now? I'm gonna have to spend the rest of my short life looking over my shoulder for Bloody Mary. You won't have to worry, Johan. I'm gonna take him down. Bueno, eh, otro libro de, de fábulas desbloqueado y eh, bueno, vamos a ver, vamos a hacer un, un vistacillo rápido a ver qué, qué nos queda de este capítulo, porque la verdad que no creo yo que quede mucho, estamos desvelando, era muy temido, estamos desvelando bastantes cositas ya y estamos abriendo el camino bastante bien y rápido. Así que bueno, vamos a darle al estar un momentito y vamos a libro de fábula a ver qué nos queda por aquí. Vale, pues nos quedan cuatro cositas. Cuatro libros de fábula y tres trofeos. Vale, seguimos entonces. No quedará, no quedará mucho tampoco de, de esto. Quizás 20 minutillos. It means his hand was in my pocket, and you just let him go! I don't know what you heard, but it didn't happen like that. Are you denying the facts? Uh, she's denying me the chance to get a word in. Now, Miss White, I... Sheriff Bigby has returned. Ah, there's the old wrecking bowl himself. Bigby, where have you been? I'm not finished here, Miss White. You will have to wait. <sighs> just one moment, please. Look what I found. Seems your dog wants a biscuit. Buffkin, get this piece in the mirror right away. With pleasure, Miss White. <sighs> Finally, things are swinging back in the right direction. Good work, Bigby. You've been gone all day. What did you uncover? I thought you were going to report back to me. I mean, it's fine. I gotta say, this thing reaches a lot further than we thought. Crooked Man has something on everybody. It wasn't just Beauty and the loan. Beast was working for him. His goon, the Jersey Devil, is putting the squeeze on all kinds of fables down at the Lucky Pawn. He was even running black market magic out of the butcher shop. But that's over now, because we got the mirror. And once it's fixed, we got him. That's how Crane did it. That's how we're gonna do it. Excellent work. Really. Sheriff, I could use your assistance. Would you join me at the mirror? 
Don't go far, Sheriff. I'd like to have a few words of my own with you. Why don't you go fuck off until I'm good and ready? <laughs> I don't understand. This piece just doesn't want to join the rest. Do you have any idea why? Got me. Well, where did you find it? What has it gone through since being separated from the rest? Shattering is a very traumatic experience, you know. So this process can be a little touchy. I found it in Crane's coat. Last person I saw with Crane or his coat was that psycho Bloody Mary. Maybe she had Ah, some... uh, yes, Miss White was asking about her. That explains it. You know who and the mirror have a very unhappy history with each other. How would you like it if she tried to use you as a doorway? I think I already know the feeling. Well, I think I know how to proceed now. It will just take a little extra coaxing, that's all. Thank you for your help. It could be a while, Sheriff. I'll find you when it's ready. Besides which, he might not want to come out with you watching. Oh. He doesn't like being spied on. If you ask me, you're everything that's wrong with Fable Town. Is it fixed? Did you ask about the crooked man? Buffkin's still working on it. He said it might be a while. If you're so self-reliant, what do you want from the business office so bad? <laughs> what I want is my business. I can't take those two right now. We're trying to catch a murderer, and they're... They're over there bickering about bureaucracy. We're at war. Don't they realize that? Do you need some help over there? Yeah, thanks. Go talk to Toad. But just so you know, we can't pay him. He really needs to go to the farm, you know. So just break the news and be done with it, okay? Bueno, venga, vamos a... Vamos a darle la noticia. I see how it is. Passed off to an underling, eh? Why am I not surprised? Well, you did cause what damage brings me in here, so maybe it's for the best. Just need a little bit of dosh to cover it. I tried talking to her about it, but it's like chatting up a brick wall, it is. Now, I'm sure you've got your own agenda, Sheriff, but I've taken a real wallet because of you, and you can't deny that. My car, total, the gaping maw in my wall, any of us sound familiar? I've written up a bill if you'd like to see it. I'm not looking for a handout, just what's right. I need it, Big B. I didn't throw myself. No, no, me gustaría entregarle el dinero, pero. No sé, no sé, no sé. No sé. Es complicado. The woodsman is broke. You saw the way he was living. Yeah, in your building. You know what I mean? Please, I'll need the money for glamours, Bigby. That's all. This isn't exactly a new problem with you, Toad. You know that if you're out of glamour, I gotta send you to the farm. Well, how about your friend the pig? Hmm? Is he going to the farm too? Yeah, you thought we didn't know about him, huh? A worst kept secret in Fable Town. I haven't decided on him yet. But every situation's different, Toad. Well, might I suggest a path of compassion for the pig? And me and me boy, too. If you give me one more chance and hear me out, I'll see a way for me and me boy to stay. I'm not gonna ask for any more than I need. I just wanna stay. So what do you say? You just give me enough to cover me glamours and we'll call the rest a wash. Please, Sheriff, don't take TJ from the only army knows. This old glamour rule is oppressive. I've done nothing wrong but look different. You know, it's not right. Look, I'll try to get you that money and get you another chance, but you have to understand, that's not entirely up to me. Oh, thank you, sir. I knew I could count on you to make me whole again. We get it sorted and I'll be glamoured to the nines, I will. Bueno, en el fondo, en el fondo tengo corazoncito y, eh... Bluebeard, you want to bueno, talk? Now's your chance. I've just made my Ayudar. donation funding this office, so direct your questions to Miss White. Well, at least he's not trying to get rid of me. He's not? For now. Did you take care of Toad? I mean, I saw the way he left. I know it may not seem that important right now, but glamours are the law for a very good reason. Don't worry, I did the right thing. Are you sure? Because he left looking pretty happy. 
Fine. We'll deal with it later. I know I should be asking how it got like this, but I just keep wondering why it happened to Faith and Lily. You've seen his world. Do you have any idea why he'd want them dead? I don't know if the Crooked Man killed them with his own hand or if it was one of his goons. I don't know. But when I catch the fucker who did this, I'll find out why. Sheriff! Miss White! I believe the mirror is repaired. Bueno. I have to hey, say, I have much. been better. But thanks for putting me back together. I'm sorry. I just... I have to know. Mirror, mirror. We're glad you weren't slain. Now please show us that sick creep crane. Yeah. I want to see where he's ended up, too. You will get on that plane to Paris, and you will wait for the day the Crooked Man needs you. Until then, not a peep. Otherwise, I get to deal with you my way. So please, please disobey. Wait a minute. Someone's watching. Eh, volvemos a ver otro fallo de, de, de traducción. Eh, la condicional es una condicional doble. Es decir, What? me encantaría que desobedeci desobedeciera. Oh, her. That explains the sting. I'd rather not have to feel the pain she brings. So, let's not do that again, okay? Looks like we'll have to track him down later. You're right. We need to focus on the immediate threat, and that's the Crooked Man. Bigby, we don't have a lot of time. <sighs> mirror, mirror. No time to pout. So, where does Crooked Man hang out? I don't recognize the door, but that's the Crooked Man symbol on it. Hold off. Ahora, ahora otra, efectivamente. No está en ningún lado door. o en It ningún moves. sitio. Yeah, Jersey mentioned that. Wait a minute. I know that door. That's Central Park. I don't know when it's going to move again, but I'm going to get there before it does. Bigby, wait. When you get the Crooked Man. Make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. We can't just dispense street justice. I know that emotions can run high, and you have your reasons to handle this a certain way. I can't make that promise. This could turn sour, just depending on how the wind blows. I have to be able to handle it how I see fit. If people are going to have faith in the Fabletown government again, we need to be fair. Show them that we're doing things the right way. I have enough to worry about here while I prepare the case against him. So I'm going to trust you to handle this properly. That is, if you think you're ready. Of course I'm ready. I got no other choice. Bueno. Eh, pero pronto dejó el mal camino. Otro trofeo. Vamos para el caminito de platino y nos va quedando menos trofeos. El tirón vamos a entrar rápido a ver si no se va. Qué bueno, tío, qué, 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 qué giros da el juego, qué, qué, qué interesante. Tim. What the hell are you doing here? Good evening, Sheriff. I'm here to take you to the boss. Thanks, by the way, for leaving off Tiny. I have to admit, when they asked me to watch the door, I wasn't sure what to expect when you came through that portal. What is this place? Or where is it? I know I'm not in Central Park anymore. I'm not sure. I've only ever come in through one of the portals. I don't think you can get in from the actual street. But you can't blame him for wanting to make it hard to find. I'm supposed to bring you right on in, so if you'll come this way. 
Look, this is the one thing I have to do. I need you to hold my hand. Bueno, prepararos para lo mejor y para lo peor de del juego, la verdad, porque da giros mmm, totalmente inesperados <risa> e increíbles. I get it. You have a job to do, but you've got to ask yourself if you want to be involved with this guy. Whatever you may think of him, he doesn't treat me like some broken little kid. I think he gets what it's like. He gave me a job, and I'm lucky to have it. This is the only option I've got. Just keep that in mind, maybe, because if you and the boss go up against each other. The rest of Fable Town is going to get caught in the middle. I understand the position you're in, but you don't have to do this. There are other things you could do. So it's just that easy. Maybe not, but you don't want to be a part of this. A lot of us depend on him. Some of us never get to the front of the line at the business office, but he's there. We need you, but we need him too. What we don't need is a war. Hey, sheriff, hold up. I gotta go in with you. I don't have time for no, this. No, God bless us, everyone. <laughs> Am I some kind of a fucking joke to you? What did I tell you, man? Stop laughing at me. Oh yeah. Bueno, vamos a ver. What the fuck? Oh shit! Mira por dónde. Toda la plebe ahí reunida. I was wondering when you'd turn up. You know, Tim would have been happy to have let you in. I'm so sorry, sir. He wouldn't so wait. Right. Una entrada nueva del libro. I shouldn't have expected the sheriff to give you respect enough to do your job. But you did fine. You can go now. You see, everyone in Fable Town has a role to fill. Ahí tenemos ya desbloqueado todos los libros de fábula, vale. Y bueno, vamos a disfrutar. Espero o parece ya el final del capítulo. Así que disfrutemos de lo que pueda acontecer. Bueno, eh, vamos a hablar y vamos a ver qué, qué tal, ¿vale? Venga. All right. Y como no, Let's talk. Y todos fueron felices. Es decir, me ha dejado tirado. ¿Veis lo que decía? Eh, efectivamente. Esto es un adelanto del próximo episodio que grabaré esta misma tarde. Y eh, lo subiré a lo largo de esta semana. Y tendremos ya el platino de este gran juego. Aunque en este cuarto episodio dejará mucho que, que desear. <laughs> I wish I could have seen it. <sighs> oh well. Bueno, pues eso lo que os dije. Es decir, disfrutad del final del episodio que trae cosas sorprendentes. Bueno, efectivamente, pues como ya os digo, cosas sorprendentes, tanto que simplemente nos han ofrecido sentarnos y tendremos que esperar al siguiente episodio para poder ver qué ocurre o ha ocurrido o ocurrirá entonces por lo tanto eh, eh... bueno pues por lo tanto vamos a ver qué ocurre en el siguiente y último episodio en el que ya adquiriremos también nuestro preciado y ansioso platino eh, ahora en las elecciones del jugador como siempre os dejo al final de, de cada vídeo vale eh, vemos que eh, tú y el 85% de los jugadores decidieron no mandar a Colin a la granja 
eh, tratar de quitarle la cinta a las chicas, yo y el 36%, y el 36 bueno, me parece un porcentaje bastante bajo, la verdad, porque yo me he dado cuenta que supuestamente la cinta tiene algo que ver, pero bueno, vale. Eh, en este caso, eh, bueno, el 36% de los jugadores fueron primero al peón suertudo, yo realmente hubiera ido primero a la, carni a la carnicería, pero, pero también sabía que, que teníamos que ver lo de, para conseguir el platino, que teníamos que ver la, la coger el señalar, digamos, lo de las agujas. Entonces, eh, prefería ir primero para allá para explicaros y no tener que darle dos vueltas para no hacer el vídeo tan largo. Entonces, yo yo me hubiera unido al, al 60 y pico por ciento que, que hubiera ido a la carnicería primero. Eh, también me puse blandito, ¿vale? El 85% no mandó a, no mandó a, a Colin a la granja y el 73% por, tampoco lo mandamos a la granja, a sapo. ¿Vale? Y el 41% de los jugadores eh, coincidieron en hablar con el primero. Eh, bueno, más que nada quería hablar porque pensaba que se iba a alargar un poco más el, el episodio, pero si no lo hubiera amenazado, en verdad. Pero bueno, aquí tenéis, eh, uniros al tema, entertaingames.com eh, y vamos a verificar que tenemos todos los trofeos y que está al 100% este episodio. Bueno, eh, extras, libro de fábulas y como veis todo completo y queda aquí todos los del 5, ¿vale? Que lo haremos esta misma tarde, lo grabaré para vosotros. Lecciones del jugador. Esto ya lo vimos con anterioridad, son todas, todas, todas. Tienen que ser, ¿vale? Y los trofeos Todos, todos y cada uno de ellos Vale, todos Y nos falta Todos los del 5, el episodio 5 Y... Ring. Este es el platino O oh, eso creo, así que Esta misma tarde lo comprobaremos Y lo grabaré para vosotros eh, Pues nada Si os ha gustado eh, Suscribiros eh, ya sabéis, podéis agregarme también a mi de de, de, de PlayStation Network. Eh, jugaré con vosotros, os ayudaré, haré lo que haga falta. Y aquí vemos que tenemos ya un 80% del juego. Todo, 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 vale. Todo, y nos queda el episodio 5, vale. Qué bueno, que... Que lo haremos, lo haremos ya esta misma tarde Y lo dejaré subiendo Para todos Pues nada, eso es Un saludo, flipis Y nos vemos En el siguiente episodio Y siguiente wardrobe de The World Among Us